Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got my September wrap up for you. All right, so September has not been a great month for anybody, I don't think. So I'm actually surprised at how many books that I ended up reading this month just because of just how bad September has been for everybody. <laughs> Um, so let's dive into what I finished this month. So the first book that I finished in September is If It Makes You Happy. This is probably one of my favorite books from this month. It was just so, I don't know, I just really needed it, I guess. Um, I do have a full book review for this one and I will leave it linked up in the corner. But this is one that I desperately wish I had in high school because the main character is plus size and she is so real and just like she's happy she's sad she's mad she's just completely herself and you know she talks about how being plus size affects her and you know she how she is confident some days and other days she just like wants to hide and that's all very very real and I really love this book. This one got a solid five out of five stars and I would highly highly recommend it. So the next book that I read this month was Blackbird issue one. This one wasn't really on my list. It was just kind of screaming at me from my Kindle and I, I really like dove into it and it was so good. It's so brightly colored and I love that it kind of focuses on it's almost Aztec kind of mythology but mixed with like more urban fantasy and it's so good and I cannot wait to get my hands on the rest of the issues and this one got a solid three and a half out of five stars it was really good for a first issue so the next book that I finished this month was I hope you get this message so this book was one of probably the most interesting books that I read this year so this one follows a bunch of different perspectives we have Jesse we have Kate and we have Adim and their stories all kind of interconnect in these weird ways but this story is basically about this alien planet that contacts Earth and tells them that they were an experiment and they have basically seven days while these aliens deliberate on whether they're going to terminate that experiment and basically humanity devolves into complete and utter chaos and dystopian societies and just like basically self-destructs. So Kate and Adim are both looking for lost family members and Jesse doesn't really necessarily believe that the aliens are going to come but he wants to try to make some money by helping get messages out to people via this machine that he creates that translates messages into binary and they all end up meeting in Roswell on the very eve of the last day that they have on earth basically and it's just so interesting to finally see how all of their stories kind of mesh together. This book was just so interesting. You also get transcripts from the aliens deliberating about whether or not to terminate the experiment. This book is at its very core is about hope and you know trying to get messages out to loved ones to let them know that you love them and you you know reconnecting with family and it's so so good I would highly recommend this one this one got a solid four to five stars so the next book that I finished in September was Nimona this was the graphic novel that I had picked out for this month it was so much fun because it's kind of a different take on like who's an actual villain and how corruption hides within the law enforcement department and how things can turn so evil in such a short amount of time it really flip-flops the superhero and villain trope and I really love Lord Balthazar because he's not really a villain he doesn't want to hurt people he just is kind of morally gray he likes to steal things he likes to cause chaos and I just Nimona is just a firecracker of a character I love that she can shapeshift and that you know there's like so much science mixed into this it's just really really amazing I just love the colorfulness um, I wish the text was just a wee bit bigger just because there's so much of it um, and I just really like this story because it just turned things on its head and I really liked the kind of like fantasy science meets steampunk kind of all mixed in there together and it's just so so good this one also got a solid four to five stars all right and then the book that I'm reading as of filming this video is The Novice this book was completely unexpected and I already love it I'm about 155 pages in I think I found a new favorite series guys why didn't anybody tell me that this series was so like addictive I kind of like this it's this like weird mix of like Aragon and Pokemon with a smidgen of like magical school kind of thrown in there. I just I love this book so much and I really need to get my hands on the other books in the series like right now because this book is so good and completely unexpected. I mean I thought I was gonna like it just because of the premise but reading it oh my god my brain has just been like blown. 
And then the last book that I had on my TBR that I'm probably not going to get to was Seven Deadly Shadows. I really wanted to get to this book this month, but I think I'm going to push this one off into October just because it's kind of giving me creepy vibes and October TBR is a little all over the place anyways. All right, so that is everything that I read in September. What have you guys read? Let me know down below. Did you also have a favorite book this month? I think my favorite book that I read this month is kind of going to be a tie between The Novice and I hope it makes you happy. Um, if you guys like this video don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already and would like to go ahead and hit the subscribe button um, and if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff check out the links down below. Alrighty bye guys!